Good day, esteemed viewers. My name is Odewa Kosinolo. I'm a foreign level law student of Ajayikoda University and an undergraduate degree intern at NMC Institute. Today, I'll be discussing on the topic concept of universal assets and universal service. For better understanding of this topic, I'll begin with a brief overview on the introduction of the concept of universal assets and universal service. This is increase in telecommunication and internet services as of today. It is very important for the internet service provider to ensure that there's availability of such service, affordability of such service, and also accessibility of such service. According to Article 90 of Universal Declaration of Human Rights, commonly known as UDHR, it states that every person has the right to freedom of expression and opinion, which means that every person has the right to hold opinions without interference, to receive and impart information regardless of all frontiers. The national policy of the communication was the first policy to recognize the need of universal access and universal service. The policy has its objectives to make sure that universal access is, is entailed in this topic. The government and also the internet service providers has a right, a duty, or obligation to perform to the public to make sure that internet services are accessible, available, and affordable. According to the ITU, known as International Telecommunication Union 2003, it states the three major hallmarks in this, describing universal service and universal access, which are known as the three A's. The first one is affordability, the second one is availability, the third one is accessibility. Availability. Internet service providers have the right and duty to make sure that the internet services are available regardless of where a person lives or where a person works. Affordability. Internet service providers must make sure that the internet services are affordable, which means that low income earners should be able to privately subscribe to use of an internet service. What then is universal access and universal service? Universal access is defined as the publicly shared level of telecommunication service through a public way for or telecommunication service centers. While universal service is the provision of telecommunication services through a public pay phone. According to Universal Access and Universal Science Regulation 2007, it defines Universal Access to mean 100% of a designated population being able to publicly access and use the services without restriction or limitation. While Universal Service is defined to mean 100% of a designated population being able to privately subscribe and use the services. According to Universal Service Provision Fund, it states and implements these policies. It makes sure that internet services are not only provided in the urban areas, but also the rural, undeserved, and unserved areas in Nigeria are well catered for and sought for. According to Section 2 of the Universal Access and Universal Service Regulation, Standard 7, it states the objectives of Universal Access and Universal Service. The first one is to make sure that and promote the facilitation and affordability of such service and such network. What does this mean? This means that an internet service provider must make sure that the services that are being rendered are universally accessible, affordable, and available. It makes sure that the People living with disabilities or special people are able to privately subscribe to the use of an internet service. A person's a person disability should not be a limitation to the use of an internet service and, and regulations. What does this mean? This means that special people and the people with disabilities should be able to privately subscribe and use an internet service without restriction. There are three main topics that are very, three main topics that are very, very important in discussing the concept of universal access and universal service. The first one is universal access, the second one is universal geographical coverage, and the third one is universal service. What does this mean? Universal access means the accessibility of an internet service provider to provide quality service to the subscribers without limitation, restriction, or barrier. Universal geographical coverage, this means that an internet service provider must make sure that the services that are being provided are not limited to one's location or one's residence. What does this mean? If I'm an NTN subscriber in Lagos State and I'm going to Ibadan State, I should be able to use that NTN network without limitation or restriction to my location. Universal service, this means that internet service providers must make sure that the services that are being provided are of quality. The conclusion is a matter of critical national infrastructure. What does this mean? It is necessary for the normalcy and smooth running of the government. As we know, a default in one is a default in all. Importance of universal access and universal service to the education sector, all types, and to the government at large. To education, it closes the barrier between a student and a lecturer. This means you don't physically have to be at the school for education to take place. Education can take place at anywhere. Using an example of 2020 COVID-19, where students were were to stay at home due to COVID-19 that happened. We could access education through Google Meet, Zoom, and so on and so forth. Health services. To the health sector, health services can be received at anywhere, at any time, at any place. To the government, the universality of internet services increases the prospect of the government. It, it encourages development, economic participation, political participation, and also it enlightens the students and citizens at large. 
This is trying to tell us that universal access and universal services is very important for the smooth running of the government. The government must make sure that their internet services are universally accessible, available, and affordable. A person that is any low should be able to permanently subscribe to use of an internet service. This means that a person's work, a person's income, or a person's location should not be restricted and should not be limited to use of an internet service. With this interesting lecture, I know I've been able to ed educate you on the importance of universal access and universal service, the limitations, the objectives, the importance, and the major hallmarks that are necessary for the understanding of universal access and universal service. For more information, visit www.alexolicitors.com and also follow Alexolicitors on LinkedIn.